and welcome back Yubies. Um, this is my second video. I'm kind of doing this pretty quickly. I already posted my first video and hasn't been on there for an hour and I'm already just wanting to finish the second one and get it over with. Uh, this time I think I'd start with some um, DC books I have. Um, the first one I have up there is the Hawkman number one. I think this is like one of my first number ones I purchased, uh, which was Hawkman number one, a 4.0. Next one is a Flash 166. 7.0 it, it's no significant or anything like that it's just a uh, at least not that I know of it's just uh, it was a really cheap price so I got it for like eight bucks or something like that and it was in really good condition so yeah, I thought it was worth it next is Sandman number one Jack Kirby uh, seven point oh Shazam number one got this also really cheap, like ten bucks. Um, came back in eight happy with that kind of uh, got me into Superman a bit but you know starting to look at the DC comics a little bit more with this book yeah since a movie I hear is in the works and coming out I figured I'd show this one. Justice League of America number one. It's a 3.0. The uh, problem with this is that has one has tape along the spine. But also, which I didn't know until I got it back, it said it has a married centerfold. So I don't know if that would be considered with CGC would that be a green label or a purple label um, I've been thinking about sending it out to CGC I don't know maybe I'll wait and one of my favorite artists I think uh, Aquaman number 42 6.0 a Nick Cardi cover I just love his artwork he's probably he's probably he's definitely my favorite and I got number 19 also another Nick Cardi cover I love all these cover of the early Aquaman and of course, we got Aquaman number two, seven point five. Also, Nick Hardy. And where would I be if I didn't have number one? Aquaman number one, eight point oh. For some reason, this is my favorite book I own right now. I love the cover, the grade's awesome, and uh, it's the first appearance of Quisp. And to go along with these, since I've talked about Nick Hardy, we got Teen Titans number one, another Nick Cardi cup cover and art. I have like the first I think 12 
in the Teen Titan series. Um, the other ones are very good to maybe a little bit less than that, but this is one of the nicer ones, a six. So I'm happy with that. Okay. If you watched my last video, you know I'm an Avengers fan. I got a few Avengers that were slabbed. I got number nine. Slabbed at a 5.5. .5. First appearance and origin of Wonder Man. Baron Zemo, Enchantress, and Executioner appearance. But I was just happy with the price I got it at. It was like 60 bucks. And a cool cover here. Avengers 25 Doctor Doom appearance Fantastic Four Jack Kirby cover again Stanley story It's a really nice cover for early issue 8.5 That one I actually paid a little bit of money for I think I paid a hundred bucks And this one here, I got raw, um, and I only paid like six or seven bucks for it. And a lot I bought. It's Invaders number one, and it, I had it great because I thought it was in really good condition. It came back at a nine point six, and from what I've looked it up at, I mean, it seems to buying it for six bucks or five six bucks and having it come back at a 9.6 it's a pretty good value so I'm happy with that okay. got this Marvel Superhero Secret Wars number eight a 9.6 First appearance alien costume. I don't remember how much I paid for that. And another Jack Kirby cover. Captain America 100. Problem with this one here is someone took a pen and outlined. And pen. You can't really notice it unless you really look, but that's one of the reasons it came back out of five. But also, there's a lot of other issues with it. But I'm happy to have it. I didn't pay too much money for it, so and I own it. Next, Iron Man number one. Came back at 6.0. I was thinking, I thought it would come back at a higher grade than that. And another problem when I got it back, let's see, it said a very slight color touch. Now I looked and I could not find it anywhere. I don't know where they were talking about, but I'll keep looking. I got Iron Man 2, got 6.5, cool cover, and I bought that Invaders, I bought it in a lot, and I got that, this book in a lot with it. Iron Man Submariner number one came back at an 8.0. Oh. 
which I was very happy with. Well, you already seen my Daredevil number one. If you watched a lot of my last video, here's a Daredevil number seven. First appearance of the red costume. Got rid of that ugly yellow. Number nine, 5.0. Like I said, in my last video, I was sending every book I got and to get graded. I don't do it anymore, but it still looks cool. And this one here is another short money purchase. It, uh, it was really cheap on eBay. Another like ten, fifteen dollar purchase. I mean it cost more than that just to get slabbed. So I picked it up and when I noticed when I got it on the plastic itself, not on the book, on the plastic Conseca Conseda uh Caseda signed it. So not on the book, it's on the plastic of the slab though. That's kinda cool. Daredevil Father, number one. Now I have no idea what that Wizard First thing is. I, don't, I think it might have been where it was done at. Someone knows what. I don't know. Oh, I said in my last video, I'm a Submariner fan. I guess Submariner, number one, 6.0. Just love, love these books. Ushema. So, Roy Thomas too. These are ones that I just picked up because I thought they were cool covers. Tales to Astonish 93, 6.5. I just thought the cover was awesome, so. I picked it up and had it slabbed. One of these days I hope to get, you know, be able to put these on the wall. Here's another one. So now, um, I was told, or I looked it up or something, they, and supposedly this is a prototype for Professor X, Dr. Xavier. I don't know if it is or not, but supposedly they, they did that. This is a Strange Tale 69. Came back at a 5.0. And that's supposed to be Dr. Xavier. This is the first full appearance of Odin, Journey into Mystery, number 86, came back at a 6.0, another cool cover, I'm a, definitely a Thor fan, um, one of my grails will be Journey into Mystery, 83, I was this close to getting it but I lost it the last second, I just wasn't willing to push up that little bit extra money. But I will be next time if I have a, ever have a chance. Another Thor Journey into Mystery 117. This is the first appearance of the Odin Sword 5.0. That's okay, it looks good. Now this is uh, another one they said, I was told, or heard somewhere, I can't remember, that this was a prototype for the Watcher. Tales of Suspense. Zarkor. 
but I picked it up. It was cheap money. I came back at a 5.0. That's a pretty good book. I read it. And this is just uh, Spider Man number one, volume two. You know, or another volume. Whatever, it's just Spider Man series. Uh, 9.6. It's not really worth much, but looks like it even got a cracked case. But not really worth much. Now, this book here is the last one, and it is my. the book that is in the worst condition I own. It is in horrible, horrible condition, but I got it for what it is, and I still have to have it. Amazing Spider-Man number one came back at a point five. Uh, story's all there, nothing missing, but they say it's incomplete. I believe because. Someone had had this in a binder before. There and down here. And it goes through with the tape. It goes through all the whole way through the book. So I think that that's what they mean when they say it's incomplete. But it's Amazing Spider Man number one. And I own it. So I'm happy with that. Just want to do a quick, since I got the time. I got a few books I just picked up recently, and I figured I'd shovel. Like I said, I got the time. So this one here, I was able to pick up for seven bucks. Jonah Hex number one. These are just some uh, number ones that I picked up. This is a Stranko Horror Tower of Shadows number one. I got it for like two or three bucks. Demon number one, Jack Kirby. Got it for like six bucks. Sherlock Holmes number one. And these are all in pretty good condition, not bad. Um, this is the first Sherlock Holmes in DC. Uh, that was only like a buck or two. And this one here. I uh, can't remember who the artists are on it. Uh, I can't remember. But uh, first appearance of Stalker. Wow. But it's number one. It was only a buck. And. This is the first DC appearance of John Carter of Mars. Weird Worlds, number one. And I got Weird Worlds, number eight. It was the first appearance of Iron Wolf, whoever that is. And I picked these both up at a auction. Oh, not an auction, I'm sorry. A, uh, um, flea market and I got them both at a, for a dollar two dollars a piece it was two dollars a piece X Factor 15 and I've seen these in the video uh, other people's videos recently um, my mind's going blank it's really late here uh, I can't remember what it was but I got Amazing Spider-Man 601 I just thought it was a cool cover Mary Jane on the cover and these are my most recent ones I got this one here yesterday in the mail for forty dollars I want it online uh, Nick Fury Agent Shield number one and this one here has a little bit of a story I was on eBay and I saw it 
and the guy was asking $90 a five grade he had it graded at and after I, I, I bought that and I also bought the run from 6 to 11 or 6 to 12 also and he sent me an eBay message saying that he couldn't let it go at that price that it was somehow he had uh, messed up pricing it and that he wanted to sell it now for a hundred and eighty dollars but he was willing to give me twenty dollars off if I want I told him to take both of them and just give me my money back he says uh, you ca I can't I can't there's no way I can sell it for that price well not a few days later I went online and I, f I bought this one here and it's about a five I would say maybe a five five but I got it for seventy nine ninety nine First appearance of Ghost Rider, Marvel Spotlight, number five. So that was cool. But uh, I think I'm going to end it here. And I think next up, I think I'm going to uh, go through some of my uh, my books. I just have a uh, my and mylar, and you know some of my keys and uh, number ones and and whatnot and. Uh, but let me know what you think of the video, uh, if I need to do anything different, if I should improve, anything I can improve, let me know. Um, and thanks for watching.